Hi everyone and welcome to the practice of Ashtanga Yoga. I'm Valerio Pandolfi and I'm so happy to share with you this video. It's March 29, 2020 and you know the whole world is facing this super challenging situation uh, for, because of the spreading of coronavirus. So um, I'm using the socials a lot to keep in touch with my yoga community. And I was thinking, you know, tonight, am I really gonna post the usual thing myself doing some fancy poses by the ocean, maybe at sunset with a captivating caption, trying to say something uh, smart and deep and spiritual. Am I really gonna do this? I don't think so. I want to do something different today. I want to do something real to help the people out there because we are forced to stay home. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there, they stay home and spend all day long. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to channel the energy. The most important thing, they don't know how to deal with all the emotions arising from this new situation, fear, frustration, rage, and all this stuff. And okay, so I truly believe that Ashtanga Yoga works and helps recenter yourself and calm your mind. Uh, it strengthens your immunities and helps you getting stronger physically, mentally, emotionally. So I wanna share with you what I know this is just an introduction video uh, and I'm going to show you a short form. Uh, you can use it every day and I'm sure it's going to help you facing this situation and maybe, who knows, this is the first step you take into this wonderful journey of Ashtanga Yoga. All right, let's see uh, what's, what this is about. When we practice yoga, we produce energy energy and endorphins, right? Even when we do other physical activities, we produce energy, uh, but we release this energy. For example, when I run, I release the energy. So the energy goes out of my body. And the classical sentence, everybody, at least once in a lifetime, they, they said it like, uh, oh my God, uh, running was so nice, I feel so released. This is the opposite. All the energy that we produce with this system of breathing and movement that I'm going to show you in a moment uh, stays into you. So you don't feel released, you feel energized. And, and you go, oh, I feel so energized. Now I'm going to go running, now I'm going to go working, now I'm going to do my thing with this new source of energy. This is the goal. To do this, we have to close some energetic valves that we have in our body. If we keep out these valves open, the energy goes out. If we close them, the energy stays in. The main is the Mula Bandha. Mula Bandha is a Sanskrit term, uh, is at the base of our spine and where the perineum is located. For those of you who are not familiar with the perineum, uh, it's, it's a group of muscles between the anus and the genitals. And the classical example uh, that you want to make to people new to this, to get familiar with this thing, is imagine that you really had to go and you have no chance to go. Uh, to, so uh, hold the pee, like you're in need to go to pee and you can't, so hold the pee. You can try it right now, just sit in a simple, comfortable position. You can cross your legs, lotus, half lotus, whatever works for you. And hold the P. This simple action, you feel that all the urogenital system is pulled up. And also the second valve, the second lock, the Udhyana Bandha is engaged. So if you hold the P, you got two bandhas for one. Mula Bandha, the perineum, and Udhyana Bandha. This is the only region, the only area of our body we don't want to expand when we practice, right? So this stays still all the time. We try to maintain a little contraction of the area, of this area. Not too much, 
so the breath is not constricted, but just a little bit. In the beginning, by holding the P, you will contract your anus too. This is a little bit too much, but with time, you will learn how to refine the technique and to isolate the perineum. All right, we breathe through the nose only. So we inhale through the nose, exhale through the nose. If we combine these two actions, the deep, long breathing through the nose and the lock of the Mula Banda and Udiana Banda, the breathing as a sound. It's called the Ujjayi breath. Uh, it means victorious breath and the natural sound uh, that is closer to the sound of Ujjayi breath is the sound of the ocean. You want to breathe like the ocean, you know, like the waves of the ocean. It sounds like this. <clears throat> So just three breaths and you start sweating a little bit. So be ready to sweat a lot today and because you activate an internal fire, you produce an internal heat that is so important because you um, expel the toxins and your body gets warm, you burn the toxins and of course, your body uh, is warmer, so it, it's more, uh, it's easier for you to get uh, into the postures. Okay, let, let's talk a little bit about these postures. What are we about to do? Um, the beauty uh, of Ashtanga Yoga is that breathing and movement melt together. Okay, they convert to the same activity. So I'm going to guide you today, move by move, breath by breath. Okay, the uh, hardest thing we're going to do is the sun salutation, it's called Surya Namaskara in Sanskrit because the sequence is pretty fast, so uh, it's hard to keep up if, if it's the, really the first time uh, you're doing this. So I'm going to explain you how to do these movements and if you're not sure, just watch the, this video a couple of times, just the sun salutations and then you can start. And other than this, everything is going to be easier because for every posture, I'm going to give you alternatives. So, for example, I'm going to say, let's grab, you can grab your toes or your ankle or you can put your hands on your legs, whatever. You don't win any prize if you reach your toes. The important thing is to reach the place of perfect stretch, you know, the, the place where you breathe stretch and feel good you never want to feel pain during the practice okay the goal we're trying to produce endorphins here endorphins come from pleasure so we are in the position and we stay in this position for five long breaths we're gonna do several postures you're gonna hear me say trikonasana, uh, pasvakonasana, and like that. Every name has in common this word, asana. Asana means firm, comfortable posture. Keep that in mind, because it's much better to uh, be here, but because for our um, legs, our muscles, our tendons, this is the place when we safely breathe and stretch and feel good. But we focus, you know, there's some focus, some intent, some focus to the breathing. This is yoga. Much better do this instead of, you know, oh, I, I, finally I reached 
these stones, but I'm, I'm into the position and, and go. Okay, this happens. The mind goes at the same speed of the breath. So if you're able to calm the breath, we calm the mind. And at the end of the practice, we feel so relaxed and so energized. Otherwise, this place, the mat, becomes another arena for competition and stress and all these weird things that we Westerners put in our mind. And there's always going to be somebody stronger than you and more flexible than you, but this is not the point. Yoga is a personal journey. You get on the mat, unroll the mat, stretch, breathe, and energize yourself. So you strengthen your immunity, make immunities for the future, feel good. This is the posture. This is, has nothing to do with the posture. The posture is the, the tip of an iceberg. So, especially right now, in the beginning, don't care too much about the form. If you start building a daily practice, your form will be so nice in a few years. But right now, just worry about breathing continuously, long and deep, holding the banana, stay focused and not think about anything else and the practice, so you stay focused and your mind doesn't think all the time. All right, uh, I want to give you too many informations today, uh, so we're going to start in a minute. I just want to remind you that this is a healing system. Uh, this sequence uh, we're going to do is part of the primary series of Ashtanga Yoga and um, it's called the yoga chikitsa, it means purification. So we purify, purify every single organ by putting this pressure on, the, on these organs with the, the asana, with the position, and then we breathe deep. We release this pressure and all the blood rich and all this fresh oxygen we're breathing rushes through and this is so good for our health and okay let's see uh, let's get started okay before we start i just want to add something guys enjoy your practice right remember it's your practice it doesn't have to be perfect according to some criteria or something it has to be perfect for you, it has to work for you. Keep always this in mind. So just enjoy every single move, every breath, move along, stretch, breathe. And you never want to feel pain during the practice. You want to develop endorphins. Endorphins come, come from pleasure. They don't come from pain. The first rule of yoga any kind of yoga, not just Ashtanga yoga, which is a traditional form, but any kind of yoga. First rule, ahimsa, non-violence. You don't want to be violent with other people, you don't want to be violent with yourself. So respect yourself, be gentle with yourself and enjoy the ride. All right, samastiti. Samastiti means uh, like attention in harmony, so we are in this position. I'm going to chant a mantra. Uh, there's nothing religious about it. Uh, this is done to show some respect to the people who walked this path before us. Uh, if you know it, you can chant it, otherwise you can listen to it. And then we're going to start. Samastiti. Inhale. Swatma Sukava Bode Nishreya Se Jangalikaya Mane Samsara Hala Hala Moha Shantye Avaku Purushakaram Shanka Chakrasi Darinam Sahastra Shirasam Shvetam Pranamami Patanjali
Samastiti. Inhale up and look at your hands. Turn your palms. Exhale down. Relax the leg. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step back. In. Exhale, back. And breathe. One, chin to chest, look at your navel. Two, three, forward and jump or step, exhale down, relax the neck, inhale up, big stretch until the hands touch, exhale back to Samastiti, again, turn your palms and exhale down, don't bend your knees, if you can, Reach the floor, place your hands here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump or step. While you exhale down, your elbows are, are closed. Inhale, roll your toes, knees on the floor. Exhale, back and breathe. One. Chain to chest and look at your navel. Two. Heels on the floor or in that direction. Three. Four. Remember, be gentle. You want to feel the stretch in the back of your legs, but no pain. Five. Inhale, look forward and jump or step. Exhale down, relax your neck. Inhale up, big stretch until the hands touch. Exhale back to Samastiti. Again. In. Turn your palms out. In. Out. Jump or step back. Close your elbow and go down. In. Big. Open your heart. Exhale back. One. Fingers wide open and press with the fingers on the floor. Three. Feel the thumbs work. Four. Five. Inhale, look forward and jump or step. Exhale down. See if you can reach the legs with your forehead. Inhale up, big stretch. Hands back. Exhale back to Samastiti. Again. Inhale, look forward. Jump or step back. In. Lift the 
chest. Out. And breathe. Jump or step. Exhale down. Head on the knee. Inhale up. Exhale. One more. Not gonna talk right now. Just focus on the sound of your breath. Jump or step. Exhale down. Relax your head. Inhale up. Big stretch. Namaste TV. Okay. Surya Namaskara B. First move. You bend your knees while you inhale up. So, one move. Knees together. Exhale. One move. Stretch your legs while you go down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump or step flat. Inhale, roll your toes and lift the chest. Exhale, back. Turn the left foot, step right. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Wow. Turn right, step left. Inhale up, big stretch. Turn your palms and exhale down. In. Wow. Forward and jump or step. Exhale down. Head on the knees. Bend your knees while you inhale up and look at your hands. Samastiti in. Again. Bend your knees while you inhale up. Stretch your legs while you exhale down. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump or step back. In. Out. Turn left, step right. Make 
sure your knee is above your heel. So 90 degrees and it's right in the center. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to be like that. In. Out. In. Out. Right, stay flat, same thing. Watch your knee. Out. In. Out. And breathe. One. Step. Exhale down, head on the knees. Bend your knees while you inhale up and look at your hands. Exhale back to Samastiti. One more. Step right in. Oh. Right, step left in. Chest. Two long deep breathing through your nose only. For step, exhale down, bend your knees while you inhale up and look at your hands. Some CD in. Right on. Jump, feet are open, same wide of your hips. Inhale, prepare. Pada Ustasana, exhale, go down. And grab your toes if you can. If you can't, you can have your hands here. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, down. Relax your neck and breathe. That's two. Don't bend your knees. Three. Four, five, inhale, look forward, Pada Astasa, if you can, just place your hands below your feet, press with your toes on your palms, relax the neck and breathe. One, if you can't do this, just repeat what we just did. Do if you're doing the actual pose, all the weight is forward on your toes. Three, 
Neck is your leg. Four. Five. Inhale, look forward. Stay there. Exhale. Hands to the waist. Inhale, up. Exhale, back to Samastiti here. Nice. Uttita Trikonasana. In, open to the right. Turn your right foot, turn your left foot a little bit. In, exhale, down and grab your big toe or your ankle or your leg. And look at your left hand and breathe. One, don't sacrifice the breath for the posture. Two, let the breath be your guide. Three, see if you can turn your neck so you can look at your left hand. Four, five, inhale up, turn. Turn the left foot, turn the right a little bit, exhale down, and breathe. One, long deep breathing. Two, through your nose only. Three, don't bend your knees. So be sure to squeeze the banda, okay, to be more stable and to feel more grounded. So you can place your left hand on the floor or on the ankle, on the legs, whatever feels appropriate to you. Work on this posture over time. If you can do this, just twist. Place your hands on the floor and twist. This is Parivita Trikonasana. Try to look at your left hand on the top. Five. Inhale up. Exhale back to Samastiti in. Uttita Pasvakonasana in, open to the right. Stand the legs are wide open, turn the right foot, bend your right knee, place your right elbow on the right knee, or if you can, do the actual pose, which is this one, right hand close to your right foot, and stretch all the left side of your body and breathe. One, two, press the back foot on the floor, three, and feel the stretch along all the left side until the tip of your left hand, three, four, five. Inhale up, turn, other side. Remember your op options. You can do this or this. It's important that the knee doesn't pass the heel. If it goes far away, open your legs a little bit more. Okay. The dristi, the gaze, is at your right fingers. Let's do. Three, long deep breathing. Four. Five, inhale 
up. Exhale back to Samastiti Hill. Prasarita Padottanasana. In. Legs are wide open. Your feet are a little bit inward. Exhale down. Hands on the floor. The same level of your feet. Inhale, look forward. Exhale down. See if you can place your head. One on the floor in between the hands. Two. If your head doesn't reach the floor, it's all good. Three. Just don't bend your knees. Four. Eyes are open and look at the tip of your nose. Five. Inhale, look forward. Stay there. Exhale, hands to the waist. We're equalizing the blood pressure. Inhale, up. Exhale. Inhale, big stretch with your arms. Exhale, hands on waist. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, down. Keep your hands to the waist. Relax your neck and breathe. One. Keep looking at the tip of your nose. Two. This is the drishti. Three. Place your fingers behind your back. In, prepare. Exhale, down. Relax your neck, relax your arms. One, press with your toes on the floor. Two, like someone is pushing you from behind, you don't want to fall, and you're grabbing your mat with your toes. Three, Four, five, inhale up, exhale, don't open your arms this time, just inhale, prepare, exhale down, grab your toes, your ankle, whatever, inhale, look forward, exhale down. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hands to the waist, just the hands. Inhale, up. Sail back to Samastiti Hill. Nice. Keep breathing through the nose, don't lose the heat. Your hands in prayer behind your back. Twist. If you can do this, you can also do just this. Okay, don't bend your knees. Pass Bottanasana. So, don't bend your knees and exhale down. The forehead on the right knee or in that direction. That's one. Two. Don't bend your knees. Three. Spread your toes so you feel more grounded. Four. Five. Inhale up. Turn. Exhale down. Forehead on the left knee. One. Two. Three. 
knee. Back to someone's TTG. Okay, front of your mat, feet together. Inhale up, look at your hands. Turn your palms, exhale down. All the weight is forward. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, jump or step back. Inhale, exhale back. Inhale, look forward and jump or step. And we're gonna sit. Okay, if you're watching this video, probably you won't do what I just did, like the jump through the first day. Uh, so I'm gonna give you a couple of alternatives to do this. And we have to jump forward. You can do what I just did, or you can jump. You can step and then sit or you can jog and then sit whatever works for you work with these things over time okay one day you're gonna be able to do the jump through which is all right from now on we're gonna do only sitting postures first one is this down dozen place your hands close to your butt, like this, close to your hips, press the floor so your back is straight, your feet are active, activate your feet, and most important thing, Chalandana Bandha, this is the third lock, third energetic lock, so press your chin to the chest and breathe, long deep breathing with your chest only. One. Grab your big toes, if you can't, just place your hands on the legs, wherever feels nice. The important thing is the preparation. You inhale, prepare, like you're spotting something at your eyes. On, you know, this action gives you the stretch, and the stretch become, becomes, you know, to the, from the back part, from the lower back. You want to start stretching the lower back like this. And then by exhaling, you go down with your belly towards your legs. And at the very last moment, you relax the neck and breathe. One, don't bend your knees. Two, see if you can reach your knees with your forehead. Three. The neck is totally relaxed. Four. Don't pull your big toes, otherwise you create tension here, so relax. Five. B. Open your feet like a book. In, prepare like before. Exhale down. One, two, three, relax your head, four, five. Pashimottanasana, see, see if you can do this, otherwise, whatever, just remember, be gentle with yourself, you don't want to feel any pain, inhale, prepare, exhale, down. Two, long deep breathing. Three. Inhale 
Vinyasa. Vinyasa. When I say Vinyasa, the Vinyasa is the movement we do between the postures and between the two sides of every single posture. So when I say Vinyasa, you cross your leg, all the weight is forward, so all the weight is in your hands, like you're falling and you want to resist, and then you shoot your legs, first one, second, exhale. In. Out. Inhale, look forward. Remember your options. You can jump, you can walk, or you can jog, or you can do this. All right. This is the counter pose, Pur Bhattanasana. We've been forward bending three times very deeply. Now we're going to do the counter pose. So, hands back. Don't put your hands like this. The hands are like that. And put them a little bit behind. Okay. Inhale. Knee toes together on the floor. Knees together. Two. Relax your neck. Three. A nice alternative is this one. Four. Five. Vinyasa. Cross your legs. Tip forward. Inhale, look forward. Jump or step or jog. Ardha Baddha Padma Paschimottanasana. Alright, there is a torsion, torsion of the knee in this position. Every time you do this kind of torsion, you want to pay extra attention. The knees are very delicate, so much better to stay in a good health and walk properly instead of saying, oh yeah, I did this posture, but then this hurts. So, you don't want to do just this and torture your knee when you open in this kind of torsion, just work on your hip. Open this joint, the hip, instead of this. So, like that, and... See if you can grab with your right hand, your right big toe. If you can't, it's totally fine. It took me like four or five years to do this. This is not the goal. The goal, the goal is to get you energized. So, if you can do this, Grab the external part of your left foot and exhale down. And breathe. One. The shoulders are parallel to the floor. If you can't, just do this. Two. Three. Neck is totally relaxed. Four. Cross your legs, jump or step back. Elbows are closed. In. Other side. Remember your options. You can grab, or else you can do this. Two. Sail back. Inhale, look forward. Okay. Now, you can bend Triangle Mukha Kapada Paschimottanasana. You can bend your right knee. This posture is actually for the knee joints. Very important. The important thing is this. The heel is not under the gluteus. But it's like this, and the, your toes, your toes are pointing backwards. So you don't want to have your foot like this, but like that. Okay? In a perfect world, the knees are together. You can open it a little bit if you want. 
and go down. As you go down, there is a force that is pushing us on this side, to the stretched leg. leg. We try to uh, fight this tendency of going there by putting our weight on the other side. The goal is to go with your belly in the middle of your legs. That's two. Three. Four. Five. And vinyasa. Side. Don't do this today, but I just want to show one day you're going to do this to enter the posture. Right? Same thing. Position of the feet, the foot. Breath. In. Out. Two. Step. It's Janusi Shasana. It's very easy. You wanna, your legs should become like an L, so 90 degrees. You place your right heel in this position. Breath, inhale, prepare, exhale down. Janusi Shasana means head on the knee. Two. So see if you can, forehead can reach the knee. Three. If you're very flexible and your head passes the knee. Four. You can go forward, but you stay in the line of your leg and you keep going, you keep moving forward with this part of your head toward the foot. Five. In. Vinyasa. forward and jump or step or jog. Let's do the other side. Remember, keep breathing. Your breathing is all the same. Even in these moments, from one posture to another, from one side to another, focus on the sound of your breath. It becomes like a mantra, mantra, it's mind stopping. So if you focus on your breath, there's no space on your mind for all the thoughts. Yoga is the cessation of the fluctuations of the mind. So breath, inhale, prepare, stay focused and breathe. Your body is a vehicle to absorb the oxygen. Three. Four. Five. In. Yes, Shirshasana B. Keep breathing through the nose. Place your right heel in the perineum between the anus and the genitals. This time it's not 90 degrees, it's just a little bit less. This could feel a little bit uncomfortable, but if you place the heel in the right place and you squeeze like you're holding the pee, you should feel this contraction on your heel. And this position is so good for you. So keep going, keep breathing. 
One. Two. Side. Left heel in the perineum. Remember to keep breathing through the nose. Breath in, prepare, and down. Two, stretch your right leg, activate your right foot. Three, shoulders are parallel to the floor. Four, shoulders are far away from the ears. You go like this. Five, inhale. Vinyasa. Okay. Janu Sirshasana C is a killer. For the knee so keep always this in mind you never want to feel the pain so if your knees are not okay you can repeat a remember keep breathing while i'm talking otherwise if you're okay you can gently do this move and place your heel here your toes are in this position you never want to feel any pain in out Two, three, four, five, and yes. Elbows are close to the body. Down. Focus on your breath. Two. We try to use all the lungs capacity here. Three. Your body inflates and deflates. Four. Ajitasana. Ajitasana is a very important posture. It prevents the fusion of the lumbar vertebra, which are the, the first who met. It. So this is very important. A little bit of space between the foot and the leg. Inhale, prepare. Exhale down. You want to have your right shoulder below your neck. Uh, I'm sorry. Your right shoulder here, yeah, below your right knee, that's right. See if you can grab, if you can clasp, if you can grab your other hand. Again, took me like three years to do this. This is not the goal, it's not important. If you can, no problem at all. If you can, do it and in, prepare, exhale down. Forehead on the knee. Two, three, stretch your left leg, activate your left foot, four, five, in, bring a 
arms across your legs and breathe. In. Out. In. Out. Other side. A little bit of space, shaka, in between this leg and this foot. In. Out. In. Out. And breathe. Two. Three. Four. Five. Inhale up. Yasa. Chasana B. If you're totally fine with your legs, you should be in half lotus. But since this is an intro video, uh, I prefer to show you the alternative, which is this one. Let's go with the alternative, everybody. In, out. In, and we do the same move. Out. See if you can reach the floor with your forehead. If not, doesn't matter, keep breathing through the nose. Two. Three. Four. Five. In. Vinyasa. side. Inhale, prepare. Exhale. In. Out. Two. Chiasana C. This time we are gonna twist our spine, so spiral in motion in the spine. If you're able to do this and to, to bind in this position, do it. Otherwise, you can place your right hand on the floor close to your butt. Okay, the other hand is like this. Activate your left foot and breathe. One, when you inhale, you lift. Two, when you exhale, you twist. So it's like... Three. Four, open your right shoulder and look behind you. Five, inhale to center. Vinyasa. One, open your left shoulder. Two, remember to look behind you. Three, four, five. Inhale, to center, and vinyasa. Nagi 
which has an additive. I'm going to show you the alternative, the actual process half lotus. Let's do the easy alternative today. So, same thing. One. Center, Nasa. Now let's try. Keep breathing through the nose. Center, Vinyasa. Okay, now Vasana, the boat poster. So, eyes at the level of your big toes and hands at the same level of your knees. You can do it like this or like that, bending your knees or like that, grabbing your legs, but you always want to have your eyes at the same level of your big toes and your hands at the same level of your knees. We're going to do this posture five times for five breaths. Okay, go ahead. Five, cross your legs. Push the floor, see if you can levitate. If you can't do this, leave your feet on the floor and push the floor and lift your butt. And again. Five. If you, if you can do it without Putting your heels on the floor is much better for your Uyana Banda that strengthens your lower abdomen. So you go again. Five, lift. Again. Remember your, your options. You inhale. Last one, promise. Lift. Yes. up to this point is more than enough to build a daily practice so let's finish up with the three finishing pose you always want to finish your yoga session with these three finishing pose first is this one you can sit in lotus half lotus cross legs or like this whatever feels more comfortable to you clasp your fingers behind your back Inhale, prepare, exhale, down. See if you can reach the floor with your forehead. Two, stand breath. Three, four, feel the stretch in your back. 
high. You don't want to feel any pain in your shoulders. Six. Long deep breathing. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Inhale up. Now let's do Padmasana. Very important pose. If you are totally fine with your knees, you can try close the lotus. Again, it took me years, guys, to, to do this thing. So, if you're not able to do it, it's totally fine. You can do half lotus, you can do simple cross legs, whatever feels more comfortable to you. The important thing is, in this position, you want to keep your spine straight. You don't want to be like this. You want to activate your bandhas. Three banda, Mula banda, remember the perineum, so squeeze it. Udhyana banda, this part, and Jalandhara banda, chain to chest. So the energy goes up to your brain and you feel so good after this. So straight back, chin mudra. These two fingers, the thumb and the first fingers go together like, like you're, you're grabbing a, a something delicate, like a flower or something. You don't want to ruin it. Uh, so you don't squeeze too much, but you don't, don't want to drop it. So it's just like this, and these three fingers are pointing on the floor. Shoulders are relaxed. Three bandas. Let's do the ten longest breath of the day through your nose only. Nice. Last posture before we relax is Utluti or Tolasana. Actual pose is this one. You want to press the floor with your hands close to your hips and levitate like that. If you can't do the lotus, it's going to be a little bit harder, but you can just simple cross leg, legs and see if you can lift. If you can't, just leave your feet on the floor, but try to activate these muscles here to lift, okay? If you do the lotus, it's easier to lift. So I'm gonna do it. And 10 breath. We breathe like this. It's the only time we breathe like this in Ashtanga Yoga. Actually, it's not the only time. There's another time, a thing called the Bashtrika, but it's a totally different thing. Anyway. We breathe like this for 10 breaths. You can increase the length of this last posture over time up to 100 breaths. 
okay? If you're doing it every day, try to add one breath per day, and in a little bit more than three months, you're gonna reach the peak of 100 breath in foot gluting. All right, let's relax a little bit for a moment. So, lie down on your back, This is the most important part of the practice. So find a comfortable position, open your legs, open your arms a little bit, your palms are facing the ceiling, your eyes are closed, shoulders are totally relaxed. You've been opening the energetic channels with the postures. You've been cultivating this energy, this stretching and deep breathing all the time. Now is the time for the harvest. All the energy that you've been cultivating stays in our body unless it's diverted by the mind. So, no thinking at all, just focus on the weight of your body that melts with the flow. And listen to the sound of your breath, becoming sadder and more sadder. You should stay in this position for at least five minutes. Let your body cool off. Let the rhythm of your heart beat become steady. The rhythm of your breath become steady. When you are ready, pull gently your knees towards the chest, roll gently from one side to another, give yourself a little massage to your lower back and then exhale to the right side. Have your breath in this position with no rush and when you lift If you want to stay in this position, it's called Shavasana, uh, a little bit longer, I encourage you to do it, it's very important, and I hope you guys liked the, the video and the sequence, this is just a taste of what it's like, this is a part of the primary series of Ashtanga Yoga, of course, Practicing in a shala, in the presence of a qualified teacher who can observe you and 
help you, adjust you, listen to your breath. This is a totally different story. But you know, we are living challenging times, so we're trying to be flexible and uh, creative. Uh, if you want to build uh, a, a practice, I suggest you to do this routine uh, every day. Okay, Ashtanga is a daily practice. You want to do it every day. Uh, there are tradition, uh, traditionally some days of rest. Uh, you want to rest one day per week. So um, traditionally it was Saturday, but you can pick whatever day works for you, for your routine, but it has to be always the same. So you can pick Saturday, Sunday, or any other day. And uh, traditionally, traditionally, you don't want to practice uh, doing the full moon days or the new moon days. Other than that, guys, we have a lot of time right now. We're forced to stay home, so no excuses. I really suggest you and encourage you to do this thing and um, keep practicing. And with time, you feel your level of energy rising up and you feel much, much better. So we all hope that things will be back to normal soon. And... Uh, this wonderful practice can be shared again in a shala, uh, live, in the presence of a, of a teacher. Uh, when all this will be possible, uh, you are all welcome to my shala. I have a yoga school here in Napoli, Italy. So if you ever happen to be around, you're more than welcome to come. Uh, you can uh, check our website. The school is called uh, Ashtanga Yoga Napoli. Uh, the website is ashtangayoganapoli.it Also, you can reach me uh, by email is valeriopandolfi at bairgilio, like the poet, dot it valeriopandolfi at bairgilio dot it uh, Again, to, to keep yourself posted with all the classes and the workshops I organize, I suggest you to follow our Facebook page it's called Ashtanga Yoga Napoli. Also, I have an Instagram account. It's Valerio underscore Pandolfi. And uh, you guys, you English-speaking guys, if you want to uh, look for more info about me, you can go on ashtanga.com. In the section of the Italian teachers, uh, you'll find me, Valerio Pandolfi, with a long biography in uh, English, so you can get more info about me. What else can I say? I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video will inspire you to keep practicing and to build a routine and to feel better. And uh, let's keep our finger crossed and stay positive, stay healthy and strong. And most important thing, let's keep practicing, right? Enjoy your practice. Namaste.